Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Soy, a UX designer at Google. ChatGPT and generative AIs are definitely the buzzword we hear all the times recently. High tech is like a double-edged sword. It could be extremely intelligent with good utilitarianism. It could also be threatening and takes over people's jobs. I am desperately looking to find out if I and other designers are going to be replaced by AI. So I'm going to feed prompts into Midjourney and ChatGPT and see what UX UI designs they're going to generate. Well, in my humble opinion, I do think that as technology is getting more and more advanced, whether or not human labor is still needed in the future remains as a question, but we can at least analyze what AI is capable as of now to predict the near future. And a little bit about me, on my channel, I am dedicated to all things about career development and job interviews. So if you're interested in this content, make sure you hit the bell button and subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss my future content. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one career coaching. If you're looking for career advice, want to do a mock interview, or just talk about career development in general, feel free to use the link down below to sign up a session with me. Okay, let's get started with the cool stuff. If you're looking to use AI to create visual assets, Midjourney is your best friend. You can use it to generate all types of assets like hero image, banner, logo, illustrations, etc. Now, Midjourney can even create UX UI mocks. And this is killing me inside. Okay, to get started, you just go to midjourney.com and then click on join the beta. It's going to open a Discord server for you. And you can go ahead and accept invite. And this is where you can use a prompt to generate AI art. To give Midjourney a prompt, um, you need to go to one of the newbies room. So for example, let's go here, newbies 45. And you will see AI art generated by other newbies. Let's type in slash imagine and then enter your prompt. If you run out of prompt of what to fit into Midjourney, um, you can actually go ahead and take a look at the prompts um, from other newbies. Well, I think this dude is really trying hard and he has included every single keyword that's related. Did you use a Gen AI to come up with such an extensive list of keywords? So I'm going to create a prompt like this. Beautiful hearing website. Let's see what it's going to generate. The wait time is around 30 seconds to a minute. I wish they had better UX to let users know that they will have to wait for a while to get results because without any reminder, I saw the thread below my prompt or the image I was getting and I was like, this is crap. Okay, it's going to give me four different variations based off the prompts and I can make tweaks from there. They don't look great, honestly, because none of them look like a website. So what I'm going to do next is to give the prompt more context by elaborating on what exactly I'm looking for. In my next prompt, I'm going to copy what I previously had and I'm going to add keywords like UX, UI, landing page, website, Pearl earrings and CTA because CTAs are important for e-commerce site. Best solids, latest arrivals, all earrings, social media. You can use commas to separate the keywords and try to be more specific on the look and feel of the art you look for, what content or components need to be there, and what type of art or design you want. And let's see what Midjourney is going to generate this time. Okay, I think the results are getting way better because at least they look like websites now. Nice. On the nav bar, I see menus and I would assume bestsellers, new arrivals, all earrings could fit into the tabs. And the visual features pearl earrings as I requested. Also, the layout of this one looks like it's for product details. Um, definitely gives me a lot of inspiration on how to highlight key information of a product. In all versions, the product image is always taking a lot of real estate, which makes a lot of sense for a typical e-commerce site. I really like B1, so I'm going to select B1 here and it's going to produce four more versions based on this one. I think all these look similar, but the nav bar design buttons and content layouts have some differences. 
Now I'm going to show you a super dope feature that will help me to customize and decide the layout of a website landing page. If you already have some designs and layouts you like, you can actually tell Midjourney what images you want them to use as a reference point to generate AI art. I want to use the landing page of my Soy Design Pigs jewelry website as a baseline. So I'm going to do a screenshot of my landing page and then upload the screenshot to Dribbble and then copy image address in the prompt. I need to paste the image address and then reuse the prompt I used before. Let's see if any magic is going to happen. Oh wow, all these results are actually quite interesting. As you can tell, that my journey actually referenced the original jewelry site landing page and then generated a few variations based on that. And I can see that my journey actually exhausted the combinations of different layouts and components. And this is definitely giving me a lot of ideas of how I might want to optimize the landing page of my jewelry website. Okay, to build a website, you will also need content for title, taglines, and product descriptions, etc. Let's switch to ChatGPT and see what they will come up with. And here's the prompt I would like to use. Give me content for a jewelry website, including hero title, tagline, CTA, sections for jewelry, and details about jewelry. Well, I really like the typing animation because it looks like it's a real person who is actively thinking and typing out his thoughts. And the results are actually not too bad though. It just needs some tweaks and customizations for sure. After going through the workflow of using Midjourney and ChatGPT to create a website, I do think that generative AI can be super helpful to provide a lot of inspirations for creating UX mocks layout and content. And they are pretty good at generating high fidelity visual assets you might want to use as a hero banner in a website or illustrations you might want to include in a poster or NFT, etc. For example, here are some of the AI art I found on Midjourney. This Journey to the West artwork generated by Midjourney is just insane. I was immediately immersed in the story of going on an adventure in the character's attainment of the Sacred Scrolls through the look and feel of the illustration. This was absolutely mind-blowing when I first saw it, but I think AIs has lots of rooms for improvement in terms of performing complicated tasks like talking to cross-functional stakeholders to push a project forward. Because honestly, I think anything that is related to communication and establishing relationships with humans would involve complexities that AIs cannot handle at the moment. AI needs to identify who is the right person to reach out to, when and what to talk to them in order to push a progress forward. Because, you know, humans are complicated by nature and there's no set of stone patterns of how humans would react even if AI follows the best practices of collaborating with cross-functional stakeholders. Or maybe everything is achievable if we're all AIs. This is everything I would like to share with you all today. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.